Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about why you should be selling everything as soon as you get it. You know, there's a lot of level 60s already starting to put stuff on the market. However, some of them are hoarding stuff, thinking that they're valuable. Yes, they're valuable, but not until... Uh, you know, not, not for much longer, I should say, because a lot of people are still leveling up. As you see here, we have a 44 and a 19 still at the Everfall trading post. 57's running around. We have, what over here, 49, uh, 28, 60, 46. So the level cap or level average right now in my server, probably around 40. I would think right around 40 is probably the average level. And if we take a look, some of these late game resources are going to continue to drop in value. If we take a look at something like Tier 5 Tannin, uh, so Age Tannin, by the way, a very, very valuable resource just a couple weeks ago. Now, very, very, well, not even possible to get a couple weeks ago. But, you know, in this last week, you know, it was, I think it was over a gold per, it was like five gold per, now down to 0.3. And it's going to continue to drop as more and more people get up to those zones like Mertgard, as they get up to those zones like Scorched Mines. Uh, these are going to be areas that they're going to farm these materials nonstop and get those tier five materials faster than ever. They get about 50 resources per earn at this point in time it seems like when you go and you get f up to four different kinds it seems like as well so they did a very very big buff to it or they switched it back to how it was intended to be working as they say but i just wanted to kind of point out guys that you should be selling almost all of your stuff if you're being one of the first level 60s out there right like let's say you're you just got to level 60 you're starting to farm these resources the value is going to be going down consistently because more and more players are going to get level 60 it's going to be less valuable and less valuable and less valuable as the game goes on so what i do is i I, I, I use what I need, right? So I am a crafter a little bit. You know, I'm not, I'm not too crazy of a crafter. I'll show you some of, my, uh, some of my trade skills just so you guys can know that I do craft a little bit. So these are my trade skills, my crafting, my refining, my gathering. But the, for the most part, I pretty much come here, and if I don't need it, I sell it. So wire weave, I don't really do much with that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it on the market before this price is completely tanked all the way down. So what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, and I hate this more than anyone else, undercut the person above me and what i'm going to do with that is we're going to put this wire weave because i wanted to sell quick right i wanted to sell as quickly as possible so we're going to put all of my wire weave on the market for as cheap as possible because like i said in a week from now two weeks from now wire weave is going to be so so cheap on my server at the very least if we go to age tannin this one actually kept a little bit of value i believe around point yeah, 0.3, so not really. We're going to have a 0.29, and there are some that are more valuable. Flux and sandpaper seem to be the most valuable at the moment, obviously used for more things and uh, more complicated things here as well. But Age Tannin, another one I'm going to throw right directly on the market. And we're going to sell these just, you know, barely below the ones above. Unfortunately, undercutting. I hate undercutting, like I said, more than you guys, but that seems to be the name of the game right now. And uh, unfortunately, I want my stuff sold before the other person, so that's what I'm going to do here. Solvent. It's continuing to drop in value, which, by the way, these values are insane. So like I said previously, I don't know if I really went into detail. So I love New World. I love the direction it's taking. The only issue, guys, is there's no way for them to take some of these resources out of the game. And they give you too much, right? So these resources have not become rare at this point. They're too easy to get. You get way too much of it. There is no bottleneck now besides Tier 1 resources. So it's always going to be about Iron Ore. It's always going to be about Tier 1 Hide. It's going to be about, um, you know, just those regular logs, those... Uh, those logs, um, or I guess I, guess I should say trees, they're not going to be about the uh, you know lumber. It's not going to be about the tier three or tier four resources when it comes to wood either. But if we go to 0.17, we're going to sell this one as well. Like I said, we're just going to continue to sell these at the highest price possible to try to get them out of my hands as quickly as possible. Obsidian Flux is going to be one of that sells a little bit higher. Like I said, this one's going to hold value a little bit longer. A lot of people interested in the idea of you know continuing to smelt and uh, do things around that. But I'm going to continue to sell them. Like I said, these are going to continue to drop in value as long as they don't shadow patch it. By the way, if you guys don't know what shadow patching is, it's where they make basically patch notes, right? They tell you what's going on with the most recent update, but then they forget to add or just fail to add a certain details of that patch. It's something, unfortunately, that AGS has been doing for quite some time, and they refuse to really change that method. But um, you can see here, Sandpaper is one that I'm actually going to hold on to a lot of it. Uh, so we're going to sell probably about 654 and we're going to actually sell, though, the others for pretty good hefty price. You know, we're going to actually get a decent amount of this sold for um, almost a gold apiece. So sandpaper is definitely the most valuable on my server, which is going to be about 734 gold. And like I said, sandpaper in a week or two from now, I'll come back, maybe make another video about this. I guarantee this is halved. 
Uh, so you can just make so much money selling these high tier resources that are going to continue to be less and less valuable. Weirdwood, I'm not going to probably sell this, but I just want to see the price on this. So yeah, 0.1, very, very low already. But, uh, you know, it's it's going to happen with everything, guys. So if you're buying tier five resources, I would suggest against it for just another couple of days, a couple of weeks. You're going to have a very, very big savings if you uh, if you are, like I said, saving up on these tier five or not saving up on these tier five resources, but selling them right as you get them and then buying them back in, you know, a week or two. Tier four, rest of tannin, by the way, pretty much useless now because tier five is so cheap. Rest of tannin tier uh, tier four is pretty much down to the dumps. There's really no reason to hold it. I might as well sell it before it hits zero. So try to get rid of it as quickly as possible. There's no point at in the, at this point in the game to hold anything below tier five. It's just unfortunate. That's the way it works. Look at this potent solvent, by the way, more expensive than tier five solvent, which is great. And that's uh, we're gonna see if we can take advantage of that. Sell 660 of it. Um, like I said, you're going to want to sell everything that's related to late game resources because they have no way of taking those resources out of the game, whether it's gear, whether it's uh, weapons. So because I'm actually one of those guys that's able to go up there and get about 568, five, almost 570 gear score on some of my weapons because I've been grinding some of those elite chests, I've been grinding some of those elite mobs. I'm able to put those on the market and sell things for a very, very high value. If we actually take a look here at my orders and go to my sell orders, we can go to the price. Look at this. So... Um, completed. So I sold this schematic, by the way, Frost Fairy's Gift. It wasn't a very good one. I looked at the actual perks, the uh, stats on it, and I wasn't too worried about this this schematic. So what I did do is end up selling it for 825 gold. I sold this Ice Gauntlet, 800 gold. Uh, stone Cutter Shoes, 750. I sell a lot of stuff, and I'm making a lot of money doing so. And, you know, I have a Tier 4 house. I've paid taxes on it twice. We have 20.1K on the, uh, or sorry, 20.7K now. It looks like I sold something recently on the market. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, 20.7 K gold already still. And I bought, you know, tier five bags. I bought tier five, uh, or sorry, tier, yeah, tier five, um, tools as well. So I'm buying a lot of stuff. I've made a lot of money on, on, uh, the market and I'm going to continue to make money on the market as quickly as possible. Because like I said, late game gold is significantly less valuable because all of this stuff is becoming so, so cheap. Like I said, there you have no way of taking really weapons out of this game. And that's that's the biggest issue right now is if you go here and we check it out soon enough, you're going to see 580, 560, 575 gear score stuff for just selling for, you know, 20 gold a piece because people are just going to continue to under, undercut and undercut and undercut. And it's not their fault. I mean, they want to make money. They want to try to make as much money as possible and they want to make sure that their things get out there. So let's take a look, actually, real quick. Let's go to Tier 5. Let's see if it's happened yet. I don't think it's happened quite yet. Let's go to, like, a Tier 5, um, really Tier 5 section. So you can see there's Tier 5 stuff already selling for 100 gold. This is a Dex Focus, which is pretty useless. I'm not sure why that's on the market. That will definitely not sell, I would assume. But uh, here's a... Well, that's 900 gold. So they are trying to still pump the prices up a little bit, it looks like, on some of these. But I am not searching by price. So if we search by price, let's go to Light Armor, and let's go to, like, a... Uh, See, they have so many different options, so you can't just search by Tier 5, which is unfortunate. But let's just go to a waterlogged hat, right? So you're seeing these sell for 150 gold already. So these prices are going to continue, basically, is the main, main really, solution is to sell your stuff as quickly as possible. Like I said, if you want value, if you want money on this stuff, you're going to continue to get better gear and better options as you go. If you go to my storage shed here, you can see that I'm holding on to some gear, right? You can see I'm holding on to some things. And that's because, you know, I'm holding on to intelligence-based things. I'm holding on to uh, constitution intelligence, uh, constitution intelligence, 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 dexterity, constitution stuff, um, you know, just for future builds. But, you know, right now I should be selling most of the stuff I can. A lot of this stuff is buying on pickup that I'm keeping just because I want to test builds in the future. But if they're not buying on pickup, like I said, selling the resources is definitely something you're going to want to do. I have a lot of legendary resources that I am going to keep. Um, but for the most part, if they're not buying on pickup, it is probably worth checking and seeing the price like these corrupted runes. Let's go check and see how much these are selling for because there's going to be more and more people farming these materials and more and more on the market in a matter of time. So if we go over to sell right now and we go to all items and we go to what was it called? I don't even know what I was corrupted rune or something corrupted or let's just type in rune should be corrupted rune here. Let's see if there's any on the market. So it looks like there are no existing buy orders, which is fine. I think I did that wrong, actually. What I wanted to do is kind of scroll through the... Let's go to buy, and let's just see if there's any runes. Corrupted rune. So look, they're selling for 500 a piece right now. I guarantee corrupted rune, by the way, in a couple days, is down to 250, 300 gold. 
Uh, so just remember that, like I said, this stuff is going to get less and less valuable. That's the whole kind of point of today's video. I know I'm kind of rambling, but it's just unfortunate that the game is going to be played this way. Azoth Water, by the way, I think it was 800 gold at some point. Really, I should be selling this, um, selling this Azoth Water, because if we go over to the famous trading post, let's check out, not Azoth Water, by the way, I'm talking about Suspended Vials of Azoth. Uh, let's check out the Suspended Vials of Azoth. It was, like I said, it was 600 to 800 gold. Uh, about a week ago, I checked, and I actually bought some myself because I needed to get somewhere. Let's check the value. 170 gold. That is unbelievably, unbelievably cheap compared to what it was, and it's going to continue to drop. It's going to continue to drop because there's less need for it as you get higher level because every mob you kill up there in Merkguard, in some of those zones, you get 15 apiece for kills. Uh, for those kills and you also go into wars you get a lot in wars you get a lot in invasions and when outpost rush comes back guess what you get a ton in outpost rush as well so the market's going to be screwed that's a part of new world unfortunately uh you know the cool thing is there's bind on pickup weapons that are insanely good that won't be able to touch the market and kind of ruin that as well but i just want them to come out with a way to maybe um you know fix the idea of weapons and gear at the very least coming into the market at uh, 20 gold per 580 gear score weapons 580 gear score uh you know legs and stuff like that i think people are going to continue to undercut and undercut and undercut and we're going to see prices for some of the best gear in the game being so so cheap and uh, not very valuable anymore and not very rare and not very uh awesome because everybody has it right so that's the whole concept of today's video thank you guys again for tuning in make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel turn notifications on if you guys have the same kind of thought process as me let me know what you guys are thinking are you guys selling your tier 5 mats are you guys selling your tier 5 stuff or are you keeping and holding on to it i know this only applies to a lot of you guys that are probably later in the game level 60 um, but if you guys are lower level this actually applies as well to you guys specifically because you're going to get to this level and you're going to have stuff very very cheap to what we are you know trying to grab them for so if you go to the market iron ore was probably um, you know going to be one of those that continues to rise in value as uh, you know more and more players are starting to get ore calcum instead but ore calcum right now um, let's take a look at ore calcum ore this is at 0.78, which is still a fairly high price. You know, it's not too bad. This was at 5 gold, though, just two days ago, by the way. 5 gold to 0.78 gold in two days. We're going to continue to see this or devalue. And you know what's crazy about this is you guys that are going to do crafting or maybe you're just buying gear later on in a couple days from now or a couple weeks from now, you're going to get it for very, very cheap. So you guys kind of have uh, a benefit there to coming a little bit later into this level 60 zone. But the only thing you're missing out on is the crazy amount of gold that you can get. So it depends what you're, uh, what you're thinking is there, but you don't need as much gold if you're not buying as, uh, you know, crazy high prices of stuff. So it's a very, very weird kind of concept. Thanks, you guys so much for tuning in i'm kind of rambling at this point just wanted to get this video out talk about how you should probably be selling everything tier five related um you know legendary materials everything to be honest unless they shadow nerf um you know some of this these drops you know we'll see what happens but we'll definitely keep you up to date on this channel i'll see you guys all in the next one